Um, and to that point, uh, scheduling and planning is super important part of that process. So we do uh, recommend to complete your annual planning process before school is out because we see so many of our Cub Scout families, especially sort of check out for the summer mentally, um, want to take sort of a little bit of a breather with things. Um, and it helps make sure that your current families know when to come back to school scouting um, so that they're not rushing right before school starts. That's never a good time of year to be worrying about what's uh, coming up that fall is right before school starts because everybody's got that on their mind. Um, and then having that calendar already in place also lets your pack have something printed like Lauren showed and like we have in this picture from Pack 320, have something to hand to family so that they know when to come back. One of the most common communications we get from families that join scouting is that they don't know when meetings are after that first kind of sign-up event or joining opportunity. And actually 44% of families that join then leave Cub Scouts because they felt the meetings were not well organized. And having your plan and having your schedule really goes in with that, making sure that everybody's on the same page about showing up, what you're doing, and uh, knowing the activities and schedule is very critical. Uh, and as you can see, that parent information packet really helps with that. Um, this pack had one very similar to pack 494. They had a calendar information packet so that there was stuff for families to read about what activities were going on, when they were going on, and who to contact if they had questions. 